this is Info Puppet, and I love this song. It is so cool. Hey, you're gonna like this Photoshop Elements tutorial. Tell you what, it's going to be on the gradient tool, but I'm gonna show you how to make a header for a website that's gonna look awesome. You don't wanna miss my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. So Photoshop Elements 10 is open, but this will work in 11 also. And the blue flowers are open. Gonna love to work on this image. Let's go to the toolbar and select the clone stamp tool. And I'm just going to alt or option click and then left click and hold. We're trying to smooth this out to make more of a consistent color on the right side. If you don't know how to use the clone stamp tool, check out the video link. All right, now let's go up to File, New, and Blank File. And we want it to be white, and we're gonna select OK. Now this is a kind of a pretty big file here. I'm gonna double click on the lock, and then select OK to unlock it. And now I'm just gonna left click, hold, and drag the blue flowers over to the big white blank file. All right, let's go up to File, and new and blank file and we're gonna open another one i need this one to be about 600 by 300. now we're gonna go to the toolbar and we're gonna go down here and select the gradient tool i just clicked on edit and this gradient editor opens up these are stock gradients here but we don't want that we're going to, oh, these are uh, opacity swatches. See, 100%. You want to check them and click on this one. You need those to be 100%. That's the color swatch there. I'm going to double click. And now I'm going to automatically get the eyedropper and select the blue color. Look at that. There's the blue I need. Look, it's right there. So awesome. Now we're going to double click on this swatch. And I want the white color. And I'm just going to click OK. And now look how easy. I have a custom gradient from blue to white. All right, and now we're going to left click and hold a straight line to draw the gradient. Now I just select the move tool and I'm going to left click, hold and drag the gradient over to my flower image. Now I'm just gonna resize this and right there and click on the green button. Now it's not that great. A little bit more and perfect. Wait, wait a minute, I have a little bit of a seam there. So let's select the, well, we're gonna do the clone stamp tool again. And what's going on? Nothing's happening. Why do I listen to Info Puppet? He's nothing but a big dummy. Well, the reason why is I need to hold the shift key down and select all three layers and then merge layers. Now, if I use the clone stamp tool, I can clone this seam away and make it look much nicer. Now we're gonna go and select the eyedropper tool and I wanna pull out this yellow color here out of the center of the blue flower. Okay, and I just grabbed the text tool and I'm just going to type blueflowers.com. It's my favorite website. Did I ever tell you that? I love it. Now we're going to select layer style, style settings, and we're just going to click on drop shadow. And I'm going to change the opacity of my drop shadow to like 52. Perfect. Now I'm going to go down here and select the rectangle tool and uh we want to select the color um no well let's say let's say it's already pink what i want to do is again i want to pull out the color at the center of the blue flower which is yellow 
and I'll click OK. And now I got my rectangle tool selected and I'm just going to draw a yellow rectangle. Okay, so you see our website is starting to look pretty good here. Alright, so let's go ahead and crop this up a little bit. And now I'm going to select the green check mark. And there you go. A really nice header done with a gradient. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Hey, click on subscribe. I appreciate it. From Info Puppet.